Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at the sum if and the sum ifs function in Excel. Now, whenever you're trying to do a total, but that total is based on a condition, you're most likely headed towards the sum if condition. Let's take a look at this case here. So we have a list of products here on the left hand side uh, and these products are sold in a particular region and these are the sales of those products. What we want to find out is that we want to find out the total sales for the region of North. Right, so how would you do that using the sum if function? Let's start, let's start writing the sum if formula. So equals to sum if. When I write the sum if formula, it asks me for three inputs. First is the range, second is the criteria, and third is the sum range. The first part of sum if is the range. Range means in which set of cells would you like to go and check for the criteria. So as of now, my criteria is north. So the range which contains the regions is this range. Right? The range means a set of cells and this is the range where I would like to go and check for the criteria. Now the second part of sum if is what is your criteria? So my criteria is north. N O R T H. I could write it this way in uh, in uh, double quotes uh, inside the formula or I could choose to link that to the cell as well. Both are correct. Finally, sum if is asking you for a sum range. Now the, the range is this, the criteria is this, but if the criteria matches in this range, which range would you like to take a total of? This is the sum range. So I'm just going to select the sum range, close the bracket and press enter. This is going to give me um, the total sales for not. Let's just try and check if, if that is matching or not. So I'm going to apply a filter here and filter out uh, the north here. And let's take a total of these three cells. And this is yes, 21,169, which is exactly matching here. So that's pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the sum if once again with the uh, region as south. So pretty fast. I'm just going to do that. Sum if, not sum ifs. Sum if, the first thing is range. What is my range? This is the range where I want to go and check for the criteria. This time, uh, I'm just going to write the criteria in inverted commas inside the cell just to show it to you. And finally, my sum range, the range that I want to take a total of is this range. So three parts of sum if. What is the range that you want to check uh, for the criteria? What is your criteria? And then finally, which range do you want to take a total of? Three parts of sum if. You press enter and you get the result. Now, a lot of times what, what will happen is that you might just get uh, more than one criteria, right? So let's say, for example, somebody could ask you that, okay, could you tell me the total sales in North, but for only product one? So you have two criteria. You not only have to check for the region North, but you also have to check for product one, right? So how would you do that? The time you have more than one criteria, you would use not a sum if but some ifs some ifs allows you to have multiple criteria and multiple ranges right so how do you do that equals to some if not if but some ifs so i'm going to pick up the ifs part uh, if you take a look at how the sum if is different than the sum ifs the first part here is some range right in our sum if formula the last part was some range so this comes up first in the sum if part rest everything remains the same so I'm going to write equals to sum ifs. The first part in sum ifs is my sum range. And I know that I have to take a total of sales. So I just directly select that. Then the next part is uh, criteria range one because I have multiple ranges and multiple criteria. So it is giving me criteria range one, then criteria range two and so on and so forth. So for my first criteria range could be the range in which I would like to check the region or the range in which I would like to check the product doesn't really matter. So let's say I'm just going for the region first. So my regions are kept in which range my regions are kept in this range. In this range, what is my criteria? This is my criteria. And uh, my criteria range two is the range for the products. And here are all the products. And where is my criteria? My criteria is kept here. I'm just going to close the bracket. Let's take a look at the formula. Once again, the first part is sum range. Then you have criteria range one, then you have the criteria for that range. Then you have criteria range two, and then you have criteria for that range. Now, if you're going to press enter, this is going to give you that how much was the sales for North for product one, you could apply filters and you can check it, but we're not going to do it as of now. But in order for me to drag the formula down and to the right hand side for, to capture all of these, what I'm going to do is I have to properly apply the locking or the freezing of the cell. So I don't want to move this range. So I'm going to press the F4 key. The ranges are going to be completely static. So I'm just going to press the F4 key. The criteria is 
if you take a look at the north north can come down to south and i can change the criteria but north cannot move in terms of columns so i'm going to freeze the column here so g column frozen and here product one is kept in row number 12 you can see h12 h12 cannot become h13 or h14 so i'm going to freeze the 12 here although h can become the next product uh, h can become the i column here so i'm going to freeze the row here and that's it my formula is ready Control d and Control r to drag it to the left uh, to, to the right and to the down and you can see that my sum f is working absolutely fine okay let's take one more example so let's say we have uh, another um, um, like a question here where you have the product as sorry you have the region as north let's say it's a more than 9000 so let's say greater than 9000 or 9000 is my benchmark okay anything more than 9000 which is happening in the region of north i have to take a total of that so i'm going to do, i'm going to do equals to some ifs again because i have multiple conditions uh, i have to take take a, a, a like a condition in my price or the the sales and i have to take a total and i have to take a condition in my region as well so some ifs because of two conditions my sum range is this range select all i'm just going to apply locking right away my criteria range one is uh, this let's say regions and then in this region my criteria is north and my criteria range is uh, range two is again my price because now i'm checking the uh, criteria for my sales and i'm just going to lock that and my criteria in this range is more than nine thousand so take a look at how do i write the criteria when uh, you know it's it's a number here so i'm going to apply greater than and equals to and close the parentheses double sorry the double quotes and apply the and symbol and then link to the cell and then close the bracket and press enter now there in in the northern region there are no sales more than 9000 so let's just take a look uh, let's just make one of the sales more than 9000 and let's see if that uh, so let's just make this as 9300 so it should actually update this absolutely fine so let's just make this as 9300 and let me just explain you the formula once again that why did i put all of this is, is in inverted commas uh, in some ifs whatever criteria you are writing inside the formula so this is my criteria and i'm writing this inside the formula i have to include that in inverted commas right if you're linking it to a cell that's absolutely fine but if i choose to write all of this is in inverted commas then i would write it like this so inverted comma start greater than equal to 9000 and i close the brackets right this is how i write it no matter a text criteria a number criteria it always goes in inverted commas in the sum ifs function Right? There are six other functions in Excel where you have to put your criteria in inverted commas if you are writing the criteria in the formula. So here I am writing the criteria inside the formula. So I have to put it in inverted commas. Those six formulas are sum if and sum ifs, count if and count ifs, average if and average ifs. These formulas require you to put the criteria in inverted commas. But if you are trying to link it to a cell, what you could do is you could write the operators in inverted commas and apply the AND symbol and then link to a cell. That's how it is going to work if you're trying to link a cell, but trying to apply a greater than and equals to sign here. Right, uh, so that was the sum if and the sum is function. I hope you like it. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or on YouTube, and you can follow our blogs at kurli.co.in. Thank you so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.